Hey guys, this is Gunny Smith. I just want to make this video about gun control. I mean, I know my channel is supposed to be all about guns, and I really don't want to get into politics too much, but I feel in light of everything that's happened, like on the news and stuff, I just want to put my two cents in. And I'll let you know I am reading off this paper because it's a long argument, and I want to stay focused, and I don't want to just start rambling about stuff. So I just typed it up. These are my words. I just want to make sure that I stay on track here. So, why do you need an assault rifle? That's the question that people always ask, is why do you need an assault rifle? First off, I just want to say it's not an assault rifle. An assault rifle is something that has select fire capabilities, meaning semi or fully automatic. They call it an assault weapons ban because they know they'd have a much harder time trying to pass a semi-auto rifle ban. An AR-15 is just a semi-auto rifle made to look more tactical. But even if you know nothing about guns, you should be able to understand the concept that cosmetics have nothing to do with functionality. A plastic knife is not going to cut your steak. So why do you need an assault rifle? What you should really say is why do you need an AR-15? Well, let me just say that's not a real argument because if I asked you why you drink alcohol or why you smoke cigarettes, it doesn't really matter. Just because it's not a basic need for survival doesn't mean you should ban it. I mean, how are you going to say we have the right to the pursuit of happiness, but then you ask why we need something? It's a free country and we have the right to pursue our wants. But for me, I want an assault rifle because it's a hobby. I love guns. I love shooting them and collecting them and the history behind them and stuff. But bottom line, it doesn't matter why I need one. It's my constitutional right to own one. Now the other thing I always hear the most is, well they didn't know about these guns when they wrote the constitution. And you're right, they did not know about fully automatic or semi-auto guns back when they wrote this. But they did know that technology is always aging. Like now, we know 40 years from now we're not going to be driving the same cars or watching the TV. Watching the same TV. I mean, we don't know what it will be, but we know it's not going to be the same one we're using today. Same goes for firearms. You know, we know it's always going to be changing. And they did too, back then. And also, I just want to point out, it's usually liberal Democrats that make that statement. I'm not hating on liberal Democrats. But I just want to let you know, if you are saying that, you should probably be careful. Because your philosophy could also apply to the First Amendment, freedom of religion. And that means, basically, any religion that came around after the Constitution was written, basically, wouldn't be covered by the Constitution. Like Wicca or other newer religions. Because they didn't know about the religion back then, so technically you can't say that they would support that. So that's just all I wanted to say on the topic. And, um, I mean, if I'm stepping on your toes or whatever, if you are a liberal Democrat, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little discussion or an argument. You know, I, I don't hate you as a person. I still respect you. I mean, your views are just different than mine. So I understand if you dislike this video or whatever, that's fine. I just want to let you know I have nothing against you personally. These are just my views. So, uh... Let me know what you think about this. And like I said, I don't mean anything personal to anyone. This is just how I feel about this subject. So, uh, thank you. And like I said, my channel is supposed to be all about guns. I don't want to do this very much. I just felt like making this video. So, thank you. Thanks for watching and God bless.